CBS News has learned the Trump administration is now planning to close the southern border today to all non-essential travel. Meanwhile, lawmakers are working on a plan to give cash to Americans taking a financial hit. That is a lot of people. The president is also pushing the FDA to fast track the drugs to treat the virus. Weijia Zhang reports from the White House on that. It could be a game changer. President Trump projected optimism on Thursday when he announced a drug called chloroquine, commonly used to treat malaria, had been approved by the FDA to ease symptoms of coronavirus. It's been around for a long time, so we know that if it, if if things don't go as uh, planned, it's not going to kill anybody. But FDA Commissioner Stephen Hahn quickly clarified that even though chloroquine is approved as a malaria treatment, the drug must still go through clinical tests to see if it's safe to use for coronavirus. So far, no drug is specifically approved for treating it, even though there are several candidates. We may have the right drug, but it may not be in the appropriate dosage form right now, and that may do more harm than good. On Capitol Hill, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell unveiled a trillion-dollar financial aid package to help small businesses and industries like the airlines that are hemorrhaging money. The proposal would also send direct payments to many Americans, up to $1,200 per person and $2,400 per couple. We need to take bold and swift action as soon as possible. But there are lawmakers on both sides of the aisle opposed to the idea of giving out cash, arguing it's a short-sighted solution. I don't think that's a good idea now. You can't stimulate something that's padlocked. And Democrats were quick to criticize the GOP's plan for prioritizing large corporations over individuals. It provides a bailout for a number of industries. Again, we have to put the workers first. The White House announced last night that the G7 gathering of world leaders that was scheduled to take place at Camp David in June will now be held over video conference instead. Tony? Like so many other conferences these days, Weisha, thank you very much.